Alrighty, hello guys, Talking Me Faces back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In the previous video, a lot of you guys hated what I was doing. And to be honest with you, that is sort of what I was going for, which is, is kind of funny. Uh, so, I wanted to build something that was um, funny to me. You know, I put those big nose cones on the top of those little tiny boosters. It was silly, but um, I like that. I like that about this game. You can be silly. So today we're going to try and build something that looks a little bit better than that, and maybe even works a little bit better than that, than that as well. So let's get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so if you watched the previous video, essentially Jeb died. Um, yeah, Jeb, uh, rip Jeb. Uh, essentially, we fell out the sky, parachute popped but failed, I think. I don't know how that works in this game, to be totally honest with you. And Jeb blew up a little bit. But you know what? That's okay. So, well, it's not actually. It's really not okay. But anyway, why can't I change the thing? I've got no control of it. Right, hang on. Now can I change the thing? There we go. We are part of the Frantic Space Agency. There we go. Nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to design a little rocket. Not using this, but using a new thing. I don't know. Should we go with this one? There we go. Mark one. That looks okay. Uh, and yeah, we're going to build something that looks kind of cool and hopefully works. Okie dokie, so I guess we'll start with the top and just sort of like deal with that and get it out of the way. So we just need a parachute to go on top of there, uh, and that should be good. I don't actually know, I don't actually know where that would be though, because it's not in aerodynamics, is it? Maybe utility, probably? Uh, what is this? Can we have a flag? Oh wow, we can put extra flags on, that's cool. Uh, but no, parachute should be in here. Let's go with, that's a big one. That's too big as well. This one, way, there we go. So, yeah, that looks a bit more normal. Perfect. So, so far, so good. Okay, so underneath this, we're going to go for a mono-propellant thingamabobby as well, because we did that last time, and I do think it makes some sort of sense to do it. So, we'll go ahead and put one of those on. Uh, a mono-propellant engine. Now, I don't know what they use. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to look through these and figure it out. But uh, I'm thinking these... Is it this? Oh, God, I don't know. I need to figure it out. That's liquid fuel, so not that one. <laughs> not that one. Electric propulsion? Not that one either. No. Where is it? Where is it? I used them last time. I legit used them like these. There we go. So we're actually going to have like three of these, four of these, four of these. Seems like too many, to be fair. But we're going to have four of them. We'll put the snappy tool on. There we go. And wham. Okay, looks kind of interesting. Actually, looks kind of bad. I don't know whether I... Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these. Can we just use RCS thrusters? Do they use monopropellant? I have no idea. I really don't know if they use it or not. Monopropellant thrusters. Yeah, okay. I think this will work. So let's attach these onto here. And there we go. We'll have four of them. Why not? Good. Okay, so that means that we don't actually need a big old thruster underneath this. I don't think we need that at all, so that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with building on. So we need a decoupler. Uh, it can be as big as we want. We're going to go with that one. And then we're going to start with our fuel. So, fuel tanks. We need some of these ones. Uh, no. Smaller than that, please. This one? Yeah, there we go. But I think we want it to look different, to be honest. Because that looks pretty boring, to be fair. So, can we make it look... Can we make it look better than that? I don't know. I guess we'll go with that one. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, we'll go with that. Nice. Okay, so, now that we've got that... I guess we just need a thruster on the bottom, and then we'll just go with it, I think. I don't really know what kind of engine we want to use. Um, that looks too big. That looks kind of interesting, but I don't know how useful it is. I don't know, the man manufacturer is a junkyard, so I don't know. <laughs> don't know about that one. Uh, we go with something kind of cool looking, but also small enough to work. Um, yeah. I believe a lot of these are actually not really that good for us. That one's too big. I want something small. These are all too big. That's too big. That's about the right size, but what is it? Solid fuel booster. That doesn't work. What about one of these? Can I use one of these? Whoa, not that many. There we go. Yeah, liquid fuel. I think this will work. Cool. All right, nice. Looks good so far. I like it. I feel like I want it to be extended a little bit further though, so let's take this off and get ourselves another fuel tank. Kind of like a small one would be nice. A little small one. That's tiny. What the? Like this one? There we go. Can I change what that looks like? No, it has to look like that. Okay, and then we'll attach this to the bottom, and that actually looks 
pretty good to me. I like it. What are these things? What, what's this? This is monopropellant tanks. Oh. I don't know whether we would use these, but maybe we would? They look a bit big. Can we add these to here as well? Ooh. That's kind of an interesting look. We'll go with balls. Our spacecraft will have balls. Yes. No, that's good. Right, okay, cool. So, now that we've done that, we don't need cargo. We want some sort of fin. I think these fins are a little bit too big. I think they're a little bit too big. Also, they're for aeroplanes. So we won't go with that. Is there a canard? Those are probably a bit too big and also probably for planes. They kind of look interesting, so I kind of like them. But we'll get rid of that for now. Um, what's for space? What is, what's these? We'll go with these. They might not be for space, but who cares? There we go. Looks kind of interesting. In fact, looks very cool. I like it. We'll put those right there. They're not really in line with anything, though, and that's my issue. That The fact that they're not in line with anything at the top is my issue. Crazy. Right, okay, so now that we've got that, I don't know what else you actually put on these. I really don't know what you put on these, these spaceships. Spaceships? Rockets. I don't know what you put on them. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and have a look at this. So communication, I feel like communication is probably a good thing to have. Uh, and I feel like that should go on the top, maybe next to the parachute. In fact, probably just one. I don't know whether we need many of these, so we'll just go with one right on top of the parachute. There we go. Seems like a really bad place for it, but we'll go with it. Uh, what are these? I guess this folds out. That's kind of interesting. Maybe once we're in space, that would work, I guess. Uh, we could also go with one of these as well, which in fact we will. Because it fits. Uh, electrical. I feel like we could use some batteries. So, rechargeable battery pack. Let's put that on this side. And I feel like... Well, actually, can we put... Can we put one of these on there? Can I, like... Can I get rid of this? Sorry, this. And then can we put a battery pack in there? Ooh! I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Then put this piece back on there. Put this piece on there. I don't know what we need the electricity for, but we have a battery pack now. Okay, cool. Uh, panels. All right, I don't know how this works. I don't know how these work. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, that looks kind of interesting. Do we have to have them so they fold out? I feel like that's what we need. We need them to be able to fold out. So there we go. All right, excellent. I feel like this is good enough to launch. Maybe not yet, though. I feel like maybe some solid fuel boosters, and then we can go. That seem, seem good? I think that's probably okay. All right, so we'll go to coupling. There we go. We'll grab one of these and uh, actually maybe one of these ones and we'll put it on two sides. I think we'll only have two of them. Yeah, let's go with two. Uh, we can put them on just like this. So there we go. They're on both sides. Excellent. And then we need the boosters. So this can actually go quite high. There we go. Something like that. Excellent. And then we need the boosters, which are under engines, I believe. Solid fuel boosters. They're called shrimps. Interesting. Uh, those look way too big. That's probably way too big. As, in fact, that's huge. That's absolutely ginormous. This is huge as well. Damn, that's really big. All right, can we go with some little tiny ones? Is that weird? I think they're too small. They're probably too small. Okay, what about one of these? That's even more smaller. -er. Smaller. -er. Should we go with these? I feel like I'm going to have to go with these. They're not big. They're really small, but I guess we can go with them and hopefully they do something. <laughs> hopefully they do something. Maybe we need four. Yeah, maybe we need four. That would be cool. There we go. Whack those in there like that. We have four boosters to boost us into the sky. And I think that'll work. Good. Is there any caps we can have for these? Where's aerodynamics? There we go. Is there any nose cones that fit? I think these are all too big. They're all way too big. Even this one? Yeah. This one? That's that's the one I added for fun last time. They're all far too big. What about this? There we go. Nice. All right, cool. This looks way better than it did previously in our previous video. I like it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go, guys. We have ourselves a rocket that actually looks like it should work. Let's go ahead and put this on here and this on here. Somebody did mention how I should get into orbit and I can't remember what it... Ah. 
Well, that's an issue. I really don't think I should have done that. I don't think I should have done that at all. But anyway, we are boosting. Our engine appears to have stopped working. Our engine has, in fact, stopped working. Ah. That's an issue. Let's revert the flight. I need to actually read what that engine does. Because I feel like it didn't work properly. <laughs> Alright, engines. Where is it? It's this one. There's a lot to read. There's a lot to read. First. Oh, wow. Well, Looks so like you can see actually what's going on here. Interesting. Uh, France. Liquid fuel. Oxidizer. Engine stops under 10%. Oh. Under 10% what? Uh-oh. Tell you what, I'm gonna use a different engine. I don't know whether it'll work or not, but let's go with one of these. It looks kind of interesting, so I feel like it should work. I feel like it looks a bit strange down there, but I don't know. If you gotta do what you gotta do, then you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? If that makes any sense at all, but there you go. I don't think those things should be angled inwards. It's probably a really bad idea, actually. But now that we've made it longer, we can probably actually use bigger uh, boosters. We can actually probably get rid of these. And use bigger boosters. Because those, those didn't really do anything. These are too big. That's too big. This is... They're long ones. And they do go higher than the actual thing itself. I feel like we're going to use it. Let's go for it. Right, aerodynamics. We need a, a cap for these. There we go. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. This should work out. Let's go. Let's go to space. Nice. Uh, so, I, I guess I want to ask you guys a question. Do you actually mind the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing? A bunch of you guys did, and the comments that said that they didn't like what I was doing actually got quite a few likes. I do know that. However, I have fun with games, and if I'm having fun, that's all that really matters in my head. But if you don't want to watch, I guess that makes sense too. But anyway, we are going up into the space, into the space, to see what we can do in the space. So... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Well, damn. I mean, it's working. Currently, we are actually going quite high. Our solid fuel is still there. We've got all of our liquid fuel left, so that's all good. Our liquid fuel engine. I didn't read what it needed. I didn't actually read what it needed, which is unfortunate, but whatever. It has a gimbal, though, so once we are in space and we, are, we have activated the engine, it should be able to turn us and stuff, which would be excellent. That would be really good. It would be very, very good. Okay, so, we're getting there. We are very on fire, but we're getting there. Okay, excellent. Solid fuel is about to run out. Almost. Eject those. Fire the engines off. Slow it down a little bit. Alright, start heading towards... Well, I don't know where we should head. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know where we should head. I'm going to go for this purple one. I'm going to go sideways and see if we can... Uh... Is it the green one? I don't know where I should be aiming. Or is it the blue one? I don't really know which direction I'm going in. Is, does that make any sense? I don't know which direction I'm going in. Is there a green one? That's purple. That's blue. That's purple. That's blue. Oh, it's this one. I'm just spinning around in circles now. Oh, no. Oh, no, revert. Stop. Things are happening and stuff and things. We're, we're, we're in space. That's all I can tell you. We're in space and we've angled ourselves back all the way around. I thought that's what I needed. It is, isn't it? We'll just go with stability system. We'll see where we can get to. I don't really know what I'm doing. I need to need to learn. I need to learn quite a bit before I play this game fully. But you know, I just enjoy the engines. Making rockets. It's cool. It's fun. So that's what I enjoy doing. Uh, we need to actually head out into the ocean. So... What we're going to do is we're going to head this way. And that should be good. We're going to head in that direction and it should be good. Is it working? Yes, it is. I've wasted a whole load of fuel on this. I'm not going to lie. We've wasted so much fuel. 
But if we can somehow get this into orbit still, that would be excellent. So let's speed up time if we can. I can't speed up time because we're under acceleration. Oh, that's annoying. All right, well, anyway, let's just keep going. We'll see where this ends up. Guys, look at this. Look at this. I'm actually somewhat doing it. I'm doing a thing. So we should get into some sort of orbit. It might not be an amazing orbit, but we are in one. Uh, and I've just... My engine's just stopped working. I would imagine that's because we've run out of... Ah, we've run out of oxidizer. Interesting. Okay, so we need more oxidizer if we're going to run this engine. I guess it's the engine. I actually don't know. Let's go ahead and shut that off. All right, excellent. Uh, we have liquid fuel left. We have liquid fuel. That's really annoying. So we actually do have lots of fuel left. It's just... We don't have any oxidizer, so it's got no oxygen to run on. So... We are in orbit. We did make it to orbit. It's just our engines ran out of fuel. Oxy oxygen. Okay. Kind of cool. All right, there we go. We're just floating around in space now. That's it. Bob, you did it. You're in orbit, sort of. So look at this. Look at this. We might actually fall out the sky somewhere around here. We might not be in full orbit. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I feel like we might actually end up in... Yeah. We're not in proper orbit. We needed it to go wider around this bit. Because I think we're actually going to fall out the sky somewhere around here. Is that what's going to happen? Yeah, I feel like we're we're re-entering. We're... Whoa! We're going to die? What's happening? I think, I think we need heat shields or something. This doesn't seem good. <laughs> this doesn't seem good. Okay, don't worry, we're re-entering. It's fine. Oi! Oh, things are blowing up. Don't worry, Bob. It's fine. Bob, it's fine. We're just re-entering. Oh, I've... Yeah. Alright, where are we at? We're on the other side of the planet, Bob. So that's good. Um, We're not on fire anymore. I do have monopropellant left. So I think we're okay. I've got nothing to help you slow down, though. I've got... I've got nothing. Bob, you're dead. Bob is dead. Parachute, go. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, it didn't work. Bob, you're going to survive. Bob's... Bob's going to survive. Would you look at that? Extend solar panels. <laughs> Retract solar panels. Probably shouldn't use those. Bob... Bob lives. Bob actually survived. Okay. Right. I'm going to say that that's a successful mission. I think we did good. Nice. Okay. So I guess how do you actually know how much oxygen an engine needs and how much fuel an engine needs as well? If that makes any sense. Uh, can we have oxygen tanks? Is that even a thing? I have no idea. Fuel tanks. Is there oxygen? Monopropellant holding tank. Does that hold oxygen? What does it hold? Oh, it holds ore. I need oxygen. No, that's not it. How do I... I mean... If we just hold less of this... It's like half, right? So, if we hold less fuel... But that, oh, it's because of this! Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. So, because this one only holds liquid fuel... Uh, we don't actually have any oxygen uh, that matches. So we need like the same amount of oxygen as we do. Uh, so we would do like this. Do they have the same amount or not? No, they don't. So that's got 400. Ah. Oh. That's an issue. But if we added this, then maybe it'll all be good. So let's get rid of this. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> that's too big. It looks weird. Can I add one of these? There we go. And we just get rid of this. I guess. And we do it again? Nope. This one? Nope. Where is it? Where's the one that I just had? This one. Alright, and that's going to be fully oxygen as well. Okie dokie. And then we attach this back onto the bottom of there. There. I'm sure that'll work now. I'm sure that's... There's probably a better way of doing it, but I'm sure that'll be fine. Yeah. Nice. Alright, let's do it. Let's go to space again. Let's go. 
Also, I just realized I am actually full on glowing right now. But anyway, uh, let's do this and this. Again, I don't really know where we're going, but that's fine. So we're holding oxygen tanks now. Uh, as well as just liquid and oxygen tanks, which is, uh, I guess, okay. That's fine. I don't think they added much mass. In fact, do they add much mass? I don't know how they work. It's just full of oxygen. All right. Well, anyway, we're, we're going. <laughs> we're going. As soon as we uh, run out of fuel in our boosters, we will uh, detach the boosters. And that should be excellent. Yeah. Good job, everybody. I'm going to take a picture. I took a picture. Does anyone know how to get the overlay off the screen? Because I kind of want to do that. Also, what's this? Warp to sunrise? No. Don't do it. All right, look at this. It is actually beautiful. Like, it looks good. I like it. We're almost at the point where we're going to detach them. Let's keep them going. Uh, Prograde. I think that's what I need. I think that is what I need. I'm not sure, though. All right, we're almost at the point where we detach them. Do, 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 do. Detach. And... Boost. Okay, excellent. Nice. Okay, so if I do click this, what happens? Does it do it itself? I don't feel like it does. We're gonna go back to stability assist. We're gonna go out over the ocean. We actually need to be heading in that direction, I do believe. And there we go. Hopefully this does something. So this should extend out that way. We can keep our liquid fuel going. And hopefully all will go well. Maybe. In fact, we could probably aim further down. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure it'll be okay, though. All right, so apparently putting it in the blue one actually seems okay. So we're just going to continue to try and keep it in the blue one. And I guess we'll see what happens from there. It does appear to just be sending the uh, the orbit out. So that's good. Um, however, I don't think it's... I don't think we're going to have enough fuel to, to do it. I don't think we're going to have enough fuel at all to do it. But we're going to continue to try. And that's all that matters, okay? Okie dokie! I don't know what's going on, but let's see how much fuel we got left. So we have oxidizer in there, we have oxidizer in there, we have oxidizer in there, we have fuel in there, we have fuel in there. We have actually got quite a lot of fuel and oxygen left. Or oxidizer, I guess, is, is what you guys would want me to call it. But uh, we're going to keep flying. It is looking mighty fine. It's looking all right so far. Everything seems to be... I keep pressing F12. I like taking screenshots in games. It's one thing that, if you haven't watched me before, I love taking screenshots in games, so it'll probably keep happening. But look at it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's totally working and stuff. I'm going to take another one. Way. Uh, and there we go. Yes, it is actually totally working. If we do get into a proper orbit, that would be awesome. Let's keep it going until we are in a full-on orbit. There we go. And then slow it down. And now we should be in an actual orbit, so we should be able to go round and round and round. What? We did it! We're in a proper orbit for once! Fantastic! And we've got fuel left! Even better! Nice! Well, anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go and end this video here for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to see, like, a space plane or just a plane built, I kind of feel like building a plane again. I've built a few planes, uh, and I feel like doing it again. So, let me know what you guys want, and uh, I'll see what I can do. But anyway, we actually made it into space. We've done an orbit. Thank you for watching! Anyway... See you next time. Goodbye.